jeepers. My heart's been so loud I can hardly breathe. Oh, total, don't have to worry anymore. She ain't following us. I won't let her touch you no how. Did she hurt you? Oh, but she tried to, didn't she? Oh, total, she must be the meanest old woman to ever live. Let's go tell Uncle Henry and Annie M. They'll take care of her. Now, honey, you see this old incubator's gone bad, and we're likely to lose a lot of our chicks. Oh, the poor little things. Oh, but I know. Miss Goldchip told her right over the back of the break just because she says he gets into her garden and chases her nasty old cat every day. Dorothy, we're busy. But he doesn't do it every day, just once or twice a week. And he can't catch her old cat anyway. And now she says she's going to get the Dorothy. We're busy. Uncle Henry, can't you do something? I'm doing something right now, honey, so just keep out of our hair. Oh, all right. <laughs> Who was the genius suggest that we move the wagon out before the wheel was on? Well, it ain't so heavy as one of less. That makes sense, don't it? Sense or no sense. When I looked at the axle, you two shut her on. See, Hickory, no Miss Fultz did the Toto? Swear they made us feel smaller than the other theory. She tried to kill us. Bigger or smaller, get it on here for my arms to pull clear out of their sockets. I ain't a statue, you know. I ain't made of iron. Okay, okay. Why will anyone listen? Don't you care about total? Ow! You got my finger! God! <laughs> what am I gonna do about this gulch, huh? Just because total chased their own cat. You ain't using your head about these things, Dorothy. Ain't you got no brains? Of course I have brains. Well, then why don't you use them? Yeah. Next time you come home, don't go by my just gulch's place. Therefore, I told you I'll get in her garden and you won't get in no trouble, see? Hey, hey, quit just standing there and clear that junk out of the wagon. We got a parcel of lumber off the town for the weather turns. Will do, Mr. Gale. See, what am I gonna do? Well, for a start, kid, don't let that old Miss Gold try to try and buffalo you. She ain't not to be afraid of. Stand up for yourself. A little courage and a little grit. I'm not afraid of her. Good, and that's what I wanted to hear. Next time, just walk your head up and your chest out. Next time she squawks at you, spit in her eye. That's what I do. Would you really? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this time, you better walk tall and shoot straight. Next time, you better put it down here if you're scared of nothing and nobody. <laughs>
I never skulked in my life, Miss Gulch, and it ain't about to start now. I need to speak with you and your wife right away about Dorothy. Dorothy? Why? What has Dorothy done? What she done? I'm all about lame from that bite on my leg. You mean she bit you? No, her dog. She bit her dog. <laughs> Afternoon, Miss Gulch. I just made a fresh batch of cookies if you might just sit a while. No, I'm afraid I don't have any appetite, Mrs. Gale. Indeed, I'm so shaken by the ferocious attack of your niece's vicious dog, I may never eat again. Oh, but if you don't eat, you'll waste away. And I hate to see it dwindle. Dorothy, dear, you bring Toto off here a minute? Surely, if Dorothy's upset you in any way, she'll be too glad to apologize as best as she can. It's gone upon apologies, Mrs. Gale. I've laid an official complaint with the county sheriff. Was he sober? <laughs> Dorothy, dear, Miss Gulch here seems very upset. That dog's a menace to this community. That's not true. As an act of public service supplement, I'm taking the dog to make sure he's destroyed. Destroyed? Toto? Oh, but you can't. You must. Uncle Henry and Anne, you won't let him, will you? Of course we won't. Will we, Anne? Oh, please, Anne. Toto didn't mean to. He didn't know he was doing anything wrong. I know that I'll be punished. You can send me to bed without supper. Do you hear how sorry this child is? Surely it should promise to give your place a wild birth. If you don't hand over the dog now, I'll bring a damage suit that'll take your whole farm. There's a law protecting folks against dogs that bite. How about she keep him tied up? He's really gentle for gentle folks, that is. Well, that's for the sheriff to decide. Here's the law order allowing me to take him, unless you want to go against the law. Uh, yes. What's it say, Henry? Exactly what she says. You have to hand him over, Dorothy. Oh, no! I won't let you take him! I'm sorry, Dorothy, but poor Toto has to go. No! Here's what I'm taking him in, so he can attack me again. No! You go away! I won't bite you myself! Dorothy! Oh, you wicked old witch! Uncle Henry and Anne, don't let her take Toto! Don't let her take him, please! Stop her! It's no use running, Dorothy. Hickory, I thought you were my friend. Well, he is your friend. We all are. You can't bite the law, honey. Some things are bigger than all of us. Let me have it, Dorothy. Now you're seeing reason. No. Open the basket, Henry. Don't open, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my revolt! <laughs> Picture for the mantle, and it's gone 
too. Sounds like you've got a runaway on your hands. If they're on the rug, I'll find them, and then I'll take the dog back for good. If you were so anxious to have him, you should have looked after him better. Don't blame me. The catch on the basket's faulty. It's the last time I buy anything from the charity store. If it were done, then best it be done equally on both sides. Well, well, well. Ask guess. And who might you be? Wait. Don't tell me. You're traveling in disguise. No, that's not right. You're going on a visit. No, I'm wrong. You're running away. How did you guess? Ha <laughs> ha. Professor Marvel never guesses. He knows. Now, why are you running away? Why? Wait. Don't tell me. They don't understand you at all. They don't appreciate you. You want to see other countries, other mountains, and big oceans. Why? It's just like if the beetle was inside of me. It's my trade, my calling. See what it says on the side of my conveyance? Oh, please, Professor! Can't we go with you and see all the crowners in Europe? Do you know any? Oh, yeah, yeah, you mean the thing. Well, I never do any of that without consulting the crystal first. Have a seat right here. That's it. Just make yourself comfortable while I conjure out of the air, out of the thin air. This very same genuine, authentic magic crystal used by the priests of Isis and Osiris back in the days of the pharaohs of Egypt, in which Cleopatra first saw the approach of Mark Anthony and Julius Caesar and so on and so forth. Now, you better hold out your hands to help me look into the future. Now, you'd better close your eyes so I can be in tune with the infinite. Yes, we can't do these things without being in tune with the infinite. Yes, that's right. Okay, then, you can open them. All right. Well, look into my crystal. What's this I see? A house with a picket fence. That's our farm. I see a woman. Her face is Carowan, and she's wearing a polka dot dress. That's Aunt Her name's Emily. That's right. Well, what's she doing? I can't quite see why. She's crying. Oh. Someone has hurt her. Someone has just about broken her heart. Well, why would anyone do that? I don't know. But it's someone she loves very much. And it's someone she's taken care of in sickness. Well, I had the measles once, and she stayed right by me every minute. Uh-huh. But that one was I was very small. She doesn't care about me at all now, and I don't care about her. That's not what the crystal says. But they were going to kill Cuddle when she did nothing to stop them. I don't see any of that in here either. All I see is a woman who does her best and misses you something terrible. Well, what's she doing now? I can't quite tell. It looks like she's putting her hand on her heart. And she's falling down on the bed. Well, what's wrong with her? I can't say. The crystal's gone dark. Well, you don't suppose she could really be sick, do you? Well, I've got to get home right away. But I thought you were coming along with me. No, we've got to get home right away. Come on, Toto. Goodbye, Professor Marvel, and thanks a lot. Goodbye. Safe journey. Ooh, better get the horse under cover. There's a storm blowing. A whopper. Poor old kid, I hope she gets home okay. Hurry up, cut loose the horses. Find Hickory. Where's Hickory? Dog on a Hickory. I'm twisting. I'm twisting. There she flies. And it's heading straight for us.
no one on Kansas. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Who, me? Well, I'm not a witch at all. I'm Dorothy Gale from Kansas. Oh, well, is that the witch? Who, Total? Total's my dog. Well, I'm with Lucy Muddle. The Munchkins called me here because the new witch has just dropped a house in the Wicked Witch of the East. And there's the house, and here you are. And those legs are all that's left in the Wicked Witch of the East. And so, what the Munchkins want to know is, are you a good witch or a bad witch? But I've already told you, I'm not a witch at all. Witches are old and ugly. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> the Munchkins, they're laughing because I'm a witch. I'm Glenda, the witch of the North. You are? Well, I beg your pardon, but I've never heard of a beautiful witch before. Only bad witches are ugly. <laughs> the Munchkins are happy because you have freed them from the wicked witch of the East. But if you please, what are Munchkins? Munchkins are the little people who live in this land. This is Munchkin Land, and you are the national heroine, my dear. It's all right. You may all come out and thank her.
she was dead. And that was her sister, the wicked witch of the east. And this is the wicked witch of the west. She is worse than the other one was. Where's my sister? Yonder she lies. Where? There. All right, who's the smart aleck that turned her into a house? Was it you, Linda? Not the house, under the house. Under the house? I'm so sorry, it's all my fault. My house dropped on her. You dropped your house on my sister? How could anyone be so unbelievably clumsy? Look closer. <laughs> ah! Do you recognize her then? Of course I recognize her. Who else would wear ruby slippers with those socks? <laughs> ruby slippers. Little girl, you have done me a service. I shall don the ruby slippers, which shall make my power greater than ever. The slippers, they're gone. What have you done with them? See for yourself. Step forward, Dorothy. <gasps> Give them back to me, or I'll- too late. There they are, and there they'll stay. Give me back those slippers. I'm the only one who knows how to use them. They're of no use to you. Give them back to me. Give them back. Keep tight inside of them. They're magic. Very powerful, or she wouldn't want them so badly. You stay out of this, Glinda, or I'll fix you as well. Oh, fiddle faddle, you have no power lying here. Be gone before someone drops a house on you, too. Very well, I'll bide my time. But as for you, my fine lady, it's true, I can't attend to you here and now as I like. But after a suitable period of mourning, I shall have the ruby slippers and my revenge, too. So best you try, stay out of my way. Just try. I'll get you my pretty, and your little dog, too! <laughs> it's all right. You can all get up. She's gone. Get up. She's gone. <coughs> I'm afraid you came rather a bad enemy with the rich but The sooner you get out of Oz altogether, the safer you'll sleep, my dear. Oh, I'd give anything to get out of Oz altogether. But which is the way back to Kansas? I can't go the way I came. No, that's true. The only person who would know would be the great and wonderful Wizard of Oz himself. <gasps> the Wizard of Oz? Is he good or is he wicked? Oh, very good, very serious. He lives in the Emerald City, and that's a long journey from here. Did you bring your broomstick with you? No, I'm afraid I didn't. Well, then I guess we'll just have to walk. The munchkins will see you safely to the border of Munchkin Day. And remember, Never let those ruby slippers off your feet for a moment or you'll be under the mercy of the wicked witch of the West. But how do I start with the Emerald City? It's always best to start at the beginning. And all you have to do is follow the yellow brick road. But what happens if I just follow the yellow brick road? <laughs> Down? Down 
will you see? I had a pull stick up my back. Well, is there any way that I can help you? Well, I'm not very bright about these things, of course. But uh, I think if you just uh, bend the nail down back, maybe I'll slip off. Well, I'll certainly try. It's an awful stiff nail. Oh, oh does it hurt you? Oh, no, it just keeps stuffing it back in. <laughs> Oh, there you go again. Oh, Brian, it's so good to be free. <gasps> Did I scare you? No, I just thought you hurt yourself. But I didn't scare you? No, of course not. I didn't think so. You see, can't even scare a crow. Howdy, neighbor. Come from miles around to see you in my field. Howdy, scarecrow. Laughing, right? <laughs>
too much of a stuffed shirt.
<laughs> well, do you think the Wizard of Oz can help him too? I don't see why not. Well, we're on our way to see the wizard now, to get him a heart and him a brain. I'm sure he could give you some fish. Well, wouldn't you be feel degraded to be seen in the in the presence of a cowardly lion like myself? I would. Well, of course not. Gee, that's awfully nice of you. My life has been simply unbearable. Even my own family disowned me. I remember when I was just a little cub, my father took me to the top of a high mountain. He waved his paw around and said, Son, one day all of this will be yours. Oh, I was terrified. <laughs> Why is that? I'm scared of heights. <laughs> it's all right. The wizard will fix everything. Well, at least if I go with you, you'll be safe. How's that? No self respecting wild animal will come anyway near me. <laughs> Set a light. Absolutely. 
little magic of my own will save the day. Oh, he's not good again! Where's the old hand? I don't have the old hand! And the sailor has something! Uh, yeah! A stick on it! Wow, that's a powerful stuff! I didn't feel a thing! Oh, Dorothy, you're awake! I like that to the sun's work! Journey's end is now in sight! Oh, there it is! It's the Emerald City! At last! At last! Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Just like I knew it would be. He really must be a wonderful wizard to live in a city like that. Oh, well, what are we waiting for? To us! To us! is worth it. Have you any idea how wonderful this place really is? Well, I've been trying to imagine it, but now I haven't got a brain. They said I'd fall in love with it if I had a heart. They said it's the one place I don't need any courage because there's nothing there to scare me, is there? Bye. 
Oh yes, of course! But first I'll take you to a little place where you can tidy up a bit, huh? Oh, thank you! But well, follow me! Oh. 
the wolf and the wolf and the royal crown. As I click my heels, all the trees with you and the mountains bow and the bulls catch out and the matter. 
there. The witch is going to give you some courage. I'd be too scared to ask for it. It's all right, Lion. We'll all be scared together. Ow! What? Somebody pulled my tail! Well, you did it yourself. Oh, I'm such a butterfly. This way, this way. Step right up. The great odds <coughs> await you. Tell me when it's over. crazy scheme. I never should have let you see the wizard. Oh, but I'm glad you did. How else will I get back to Kansas? Well, you don't have to worry about us. We're not going after that witch empty-handed. But you can say that again. <laughs> well, which way to the witch's castle? Nobody knows for sure. You mean, no one's ever gone there? Oh, sure, plenty of people have gone there. But no one's ever come back. Oh, boy. <laughs> There's no yellow brick road to follow now. There's no road at all to the land of the Winkies. Winkies? What's Winkies? Well, once there were people very much like us, but the evil which made them were slaves. I hope the very same thing doesn't happen to you. Oh, so do I. Travel west where the sun sets. Is that the best way to find the Wicked Witch? Don't worry, Dorothy. When the Wicked Witch knows you're in Winky territory, she'll find you. Good luck. Have a safe journey. <laughs> Sometimes it's a good thing not to have a brain. I haven't the wit to be scared, and I haven't the heart to fail. And I haven't. Said goodbye to the wizard. How can you desert Dorothy now? Well, I could stay here if that's one way I'm doing it. Shame on you! You're more of a coward than I thought! Well, you see, you're made out of straw, and you're made out of tin. I'm made of weak flesh. Very weak, virgin of the flabby. <laughs> it's all right, Lion. You can stay here if you really like. Oh, how I'd like. But if you need me, I'll tag along, I guess. Oh, that's more like it. Stout fellow. You ready to go, Dorothy? Best foot forward. Decision, decision. Come on, Lion. I'm coming. Scarecrow's not the only one that needs a new brain. Yo, yo, we, yo, 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 we, yo, 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 we, yo, 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 we, yo, yo. I hate her, I hate her not. I hate her, I hate her not. I hate, 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 hate her. Now I understand why the poppies have failed me. Fate ordained that awesome suffering the malevolous little baggage into my territory. 
the how to bring her here before me. Wicked! Wicked! Come forth! Yo, we, yo. Enough! Yo, Silence! Yo, what? Yo, Why are you always saying that loathsome dirge? Ever since you put your foot through our drum, how is Pinky step? What does it mean, anyway? You mean, yo, we, yo. Yo. Yes, do those words mean anything? It's an old winky marching song, I mean, roughly. Yo, we, yo. <laughs> yo. Yo, we, yo. The next time I enslave an entire nation, I must check out their intelligence first. <laughs> Nico! Nico! Where's the commander of my aerobat apes? <laughs> there you are, my simian minion. I have an important task for you. My enemies are about to enter the haunted forks. And I need you to rouse your men and snatch up the sickening little girl or equally nauseating little dog. <laughs> exhausted? <laughs> what do you mean that you're exhausted? <laughs> I don't care that you're exhausted. Now go and scoop up the little brat and the little brute and bring them to me. Now go, do my bidding. Fly, fly, soon those darn little red slippers will grace my dainty feet. Wonder if any of those winkies do shoe repairing. You're lost. Look, there's another one. Oh, I hope it says something a little more reassuring. I'd turn back if I were you. Fine! I believe there's spooks around here. Spooks? That's ridiculous. That's silly. You don't believe in spooks? No, I only fool. Rocks are very sharp. 
So if you do choose to go this way, be a darling and leave the slippers on the windowsill. It'll save us from having to take them off your corpse. How can you be so nasty, mean, and cruel? Lots and lots of practice. <laughs> Scared. Ah! 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 What's the matter, Scare? 
Scarecrow, don't you want to be my old flame? You leave him alone! I'll get around you eventually, Miss Mouth. Meanwhile, watch your little friend go up in smoke. Oh! Oh! Too late, Scarecrow. You're all burned up. No! What? I won't let you! Oh, you cursed the brat! Look what you've done! I'm melting! Melting! Oh, what a world! What a world! Who would have thought a good little girl like you could destroy my beautiful wickedness? Oh! She's dead. You killed her. I, I didn't mean to kill her. Really, I didn't. It's, it's just that she was going to set him on fire. Hail to Dorothy, the Wicked Witch is dead. Hail, Hail to, to Dorothy, Dorothy, the Wicked, wicked witch, witch is dead. You are now our queen. Oh, that's a very kind offer. I came back to Kansas. Oh, the witch's room. Do we have it? Uh, please, take it with you. Now we can go back to the wizard and tell him the Wicked Witch is dead. The Wicked Witch is dead! Step forward if you dare! I can't believe my eyes! Why have you come back? Please, please, sir! We, we've done what you told us! We brought you the broomstick of the witch in the west! We melted her! Oh, you liquidated her, eh? Very resourceful! Yes, sir! So, we'd like it if you kept your promise to us, if you please, sir! Not so fast! Not so fast! I'll have to give the matter a little thought. Go away and come back tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, but I want to go home now! You've had plenty of time already. Yeah! Do not arouse the wrath of the great and powerful eyes. I said go away and come back tomorrow. But if you were really great and powerful, you'd keep your promises. Do you presume to criticize the great eyes? You ungrateful creatures. Consider yourselves lucky I'm giving you an audience tomorrow instead of 20 years from now. I said, go away and come back tomorrow. <laughs> Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. The great and powerful eyes. Okay. Who are you? Well, I I'm the great and powerful wizard of Oz. You are? I don't believe you. It's true. There's no other wizard except for uh, me. Oh, you humble, yeah! Yeah, that's exactly so. <laughs> oh, well, you're a very bad man. Oh, no, my dear. I'm a very good man. I'm just a very bad wizard. But what about the heart that you promised Tin Man? Why? And the courage that you promised Cowardly Lion? Why? And Scarecrow's brain? Why, anybody can have a brain. That's a very mediocre combined. Back where I come from, we have universities where men go to become great thinkers. And when they come out, they think deep thoughts. And with no more brains than you have, they have one thing you haven't got, a diploma. <laughs> Therefore, by the authority of the power vested in me, by the Universitatis Committeum E Pluribus Unum, I award you the honorary degree of PhD. PhD? Yeah, that's Doctor of Thinkology. The sum of the square roots of any two sides of an isosceles triangle is equal to the square root of the remaining side. Oh, Joey Raptor, I've got a brain. How can I ever thank you enough? Well, you can. <laughs> As for you, my fine friend, you're under the unfortunate delusion that simply because you run away from danger, you have no courage. You're confusing courage with wisdom. Back where I come from, we have men who are called heroes. Once a year, they take their fortitude out of the mock balls and parade it down the main street of the city. And with no more brain or with no more courage than you have, they have one thing you haven't done. <laughs> Therefore, for extraordinary valor, conspicuous bravery against wicked witches, I award you the Triple Cross. You are now a member of the Legion of Courage. Ah, shucks, folks, I'm speechless! <laughs> <laughs> As for you, my galvanized friend, you want a heart? You don't know how lucky you are not to have one. Hearts will never be made practical until they can be made unbreakable. 
But I, I still want one. Back where I come from, we have men who do nothing all day but goodies. They're called Philip Philip. Good deed doers. <laughs> Their hearts are no bigger than yours. But they have one thing you haven't got. Testimonial. Therefore, in consideration of your kindness, I take great pleasure at this time in awarding you the small token of our esteem and affection. And remember, my sentimental friend, that a heart is not judged by how much you love, but by how much you are loved by others. Oh, listen, listen to my heart, it ticks! Rainbow Mountain never says, read it! A word for courage! It is the truth, it is the truth! Oh, they're all so wonderful. Well, hey, what about Dorothy? Yeah, Dorothy next! Yes, Dorothy. Well, I don't think there's anything in that green bag for me. Well, you forced me into a cataclysmic decision. The only way to get Dorothy back home to Kansas is for me to take her to the Oh, will you? Could you? But are you a clever enough wizard to manage it? Child, you cut me to the quick. I'm an old Kansas man myself. Premier Bulbunus Park Excellence in America Wonderland Company, Carmen. But while performing great skill at stratospheric heights, <laughs> never before attempted by civilized men, the balloon failed to return to the fair. It did? Were you frightened? Huh, you're talking to the man who's laughed in the face of death, sneered at doom, and chuckled at catastrophe. I was petrified. <laughs> but then suddenly the winds changed, and the balloon floated down into the heart of this noble city, where I was instantly acclaimed Oz, the first wizard deluxe. Deluxe, from the French pertaining to luxury. Well, there were a few luxuries that went with the job, but I took it anyways. Retaining the balloon in the advent of a quick getaway, and in that conveyance, my dear Dorothy, the balloon is ready for the flight, and you and me will go to the land of e pluribus you know, except this one. <laughs> Citizens of Oz, I, your wizard, or a duel at Alta, am about to embark on a hazardous and technologically unexplainable journey into the outer stratosphere. <laughs> to confer, converse, and otherwise hobnob with my brother wizards. <laughs> and until that time, if any, Scarecrow, by virtue of his highly superior brains, shall rule in my steed. Assisted by Tin Man, by virtue of his magnificent heart, and by a lion, by virtue of his courage, obey them as you would me. <laughs> and thank you, my friends, and now I think it's time to cast off. Climb aboard, Dorothy, climb aboard. Before she climbs aboard, I must say something, my friend. I'm going to miss you. I've got you all these years. Okay. Climb aboard, Dorothy. I'm going to your favorite. Wait, where's Toto? I can't go without him. Don't worry, I'll get him. Don't let go of the rope, dude. No, help, help! No! <laughs> Bessie, don't go! It's too late. The balloon's going up! Dog, this is absolutely unprecedented. <laughs> no, no, Professor, you can't go without me! It's too late, my dear. Please, you have to come back! And I can't come back. I don't know how it works. <laughs> Goodbye, folks! Bye! Bye. <laughs> oh no, I'll never get home. And Dorothy, why don't you stay with us? We don't want you to go. Well, don't you love us? Of course I do. But there's a place and people I love more. Now it's further away than the farthest dream. <laughs> I'll never see Kansas again. Never, never, never. <laughs>
But that's so easy. I should have thought of it for you. And I should have felt it in my heart. And I should have used the courage of my conviction. No, she had to learn for herself. And now, those magic rich slippers would take you home in two seconds. Toto two? Toto two. Oh, it's going to be so hard to say goodbye. I love you all so much. Oh, Tin Man, don't cry. You'll rest so good. Here. Here's your book, can. <laughs> now I know I've got a heart because it's breaking. Goodbye, Lion. I, I know it isn't right, but I'm going to miss the way you used to holler for help before you found your courage. I think I'll be doing a lot more hollering now. <laughs> <laughs> and dear Scarecrow, you are my first friend here. I think I'll miss you most of all. Having a friend will make it party any easier. I don't think of you always. Are you ready now? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> then close your eyes and tap your heels together three times and think to yourself over and over, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home, one. There's no place like home, two. There's no place like home, five. Dorothy, little girl, little girl. <laughs> I hate to pick up a kid out all night in that storm. We best get back in time to notify the sheriff. Wait, Toto. There she is. Dorothy, Dorothy. Z, call Kikri. She's over here. Tell Emmy and bid her bring a blanket. She's got a lump on her head the size of an ostrich egg. The skin ain't broken. Is she alright? My first name's Chester, but you can call me whatever you like. Uncle Henry, you are the guard. I'm guarding you now, honey. I'll see you come to no more harm. Are you okay? Yes. There was a minute there I thought you'd left us, but I think she'll be fine. Oh, but I did leave you, Uncle Henry. And I've been trying to get back to you for days and days. It sounds like a bad dream. It wasn't a dream. Do you remember me? You're all pal Zeke? Why? No, I ain't. And this here's Hickory. Couldn't forget my face, could you? Of course not. But where's Scarecrow? Scarecrow? Who the heck's Scarecrow? Well, oh, here's the monkey you asked for. How is she? She'll be fine. Scarecrow, you lost all your stuffing. <laughs> stuffing? Yeah, what'll happen to that little field mouse that lives in your stomach? Oh, you gave me more than a field mouse. I had a whole sack of kittens in there. Dorothy! <gasps> Annie M! Annie M! Oh! Oh! Oh, Dorothy, you're safe and well. Thanks to you, Annie Ann. You showed me how to use the slippers. I won't use the slipper on you, honey. You ain't done nothing wrong. <laughs> no, you don't understand. This was a real, truly my place. And I remember that some of it wasn't very nice, but most beautiful. And you were all there. And you kept resting up, and you kept pulling your own tail, and you were a humbug. Well, let's not get personal. <laughs> Does anybody believe me? Of course you believe me, honey. But now we've got to get you in a bed. Has the house come back? A storm passed right by. And it wasn't the house that fell on this gulch. It's a telegraph pole. We, were here, we won't hear from that old bitty until her leg is out of the plaster. <laughs> then total safe. And you're all here. And I'm never going to leave you ever, ever again. Because I love you all. And oh, Annie, there's no place like home. 